<laughs> All right, speaking of pets, if you're thinking of taking your dog out to the dog park, Eric Anderson has a few things you need to know. Good morning from the Balsam Spa Veterinary Clinic. I'm Dr. Eric Anderson. It's summer, the weather's awesome, we're outside today. And uh, we're talking about great ways to get your dog some exercise. And dog parks are a fantastic way to do that. They're a great way to uh, let your dogs get social and also burn some real energy. And today we're gonna talk about a few tips um, just for the safety and, and how to use these dog parks. Safety is key. And now let's, let's start with the first thing. Not every dog is suited to a dog park. Um, if you know your dog is dog aggressive or people aggressive, they're not gonna be great candidates for, uh, for the dog park. Uh, fully vaccinated dogs really should be the ones going in. So your dog should be six months old or so before they go into a dog park and they should be spayed and neutered as well. Uh, and your dog should come when called because if they're getting into trouble at the dog park, you wanna be able to call them out of a bad situation. Watch your dog at all times. A good, uh, good dog park etiquette is, is to keep track of your dogs, watch them at all times and not you know, be uh, reading a book or so engrossed in conversation that you're really not paying attention to what's happening. And if you think a problem is arising, uh, pull them out. Pull them out right away before they get into a fight or a problem with someone else. So dog parks are fun. They're popping up all over. We're here in Boston Spa at the dog park. Uh, there's a new one in Malta that's just opened up. So take part, there's some, uh, many of them are run by associations, uh, become members, be volunteers, get active in your dog park. It's a great way for your dog to have some social fun time, burn some energy this summer. From uh, Balsam Spa Veterinary Clinic, I'm Dr. Eric Anderson. Here's the email address, askthevets at cbs6albany.com.